can't have three plus people on the commentary team because the fact is it's a massive overload of I wouldn't say stupidity, but more of just massive overload of just how the normal human brain can just take so much because you have so many different people almost yelling into your ear saying what's happening, and then you have too much contact going on. It's like you can't follow it, and then, oh gosh, I just went cross-eyed. So, I would argue this point that Morrow does most of the talking, JBL shouts a bunch of shit, Uh, Otunga argues with JBL... And Tom Phillips does the in-between match segments and setting up video packages and things like that. Tom Phillips is <laughs> second second best person on the commentary table. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Come don't on. get me wrong. JBL. Mar- Ranallo, no, no. Mar- Ranallo is great, but at the same time... He likes to verbally spam certain terms, and it's get it's gotten to the point where every time I hear him repeat a call in a night, I kind of just want to go, "What a maneuver!" JBL shouted Bray Harper tonight. Yeah, I know JBL. <laughs> somebody go give him, somebody go give him his apple juice and his crayons. <laughs> I know he's I give know, him his coloring book so he can go sit know, in the corner. No, look, I know. He's going to do unspeakable things to the coloring book, and I know he's going to eat the crayons, but he, at least he won't be talking. I hope. Yeah. The crayons. <laughs> go give him his crayons so he can go sit in the corner. Pretty much. <laughs> but basically, himself yeah. Dick. yeah. But that, that no surprise, Styles wins. Yay! Yay! The crowd goes and we get mass chaos, which. Should that really surprise anybody at this point? No. Um, uh, yeah. Can, can I also state that I really now want to see a Baron Corbin versus Miz feud right now? Because... Well, I'm sure we'll get it after right. Elimination Chamber. Oh, God, I hope so. That would be amazing. I definitely think that okay. we will. I I'm think... Okay. Oh, God. Baron Corbin versus Miz at WrestleMania. I want... I, I want... I, I just want, okay? And I want to see Baron Miz out of the ring and screams, Go back to MTV! <laughs> <laughs> Go back to the real world! <laughs> I, just, I just just want, like, I want him, but he's fucked up. So, you know, go back to it, Ring of Honor. Dude was never in Ring of Honor. I want him to just royally fuck something up. Like, I want him to, like, be up against uh, Nakamura and he throws Nakamura out and he just goes, Go back to Ice Ribbon! Because that's an all female Japanese promotion. <laughs> oh, I just want him to screw up like that. I just want him to do it. It'd be funny as hell, just generically throwing it all together. Or how fucking uh, Asuka shows up and she ends up in like a rumble like that one time. Beth Phoenix showed up and he like basically like pitches her over or something. Gets lucky. Go huh. back to New Japan, and I'm just like, she was never in New Japan, dude. <laughs> <laughs> These are things I uh, want. Baron Corbin being wrong is my spirit animal. <laughs> so, to pay homage to our good friend Brian Zane, uh, who wore it better this week, boys? Raw or SmackDown? Oh, man. Um, I gotta give it to SmackDown. Maybe it's just because I'm watching it. But I mean, don't get me wrong. I actually did... For the the parts of Raw that I legitimately enjoyed, I really enjoyed. I, it felt like I was watching an entertaining wrestling show. It felt like early two thousands Raw. This you know before the Reign of Error. It was really it, those parts were good. The stuff with Braun Strowman, uh, a lot of the stuff they did uh, with uh, Zayn. Anything involving Owens is always fucking entertaining. And of course, Samoa Joe. Yes. Uh, this week please, was a very uh, good week for WWE, in my opinion. SmackDown won again, but oh, no. it was close. It was this oh, week. Yeah. Raw really did kind of come out of the Royal Rumble pretty damn strong. Ironic uh, enough, since not, it was a SmackDown guy that won the Rumble. Yeah, that's, that's fair. <laughs> but I think... Yeah. Uh, also, we do... We do have to confirm something. What's up? We have to confirm something. The um, it is a con- it is continuing on from years past. The winner of the Royal Rumble gets to choose which title they go for. They're not brand locked. 
Has that been confirmed really? this year? As far as I'm aware, that's been confirmed. Well, because I know that this week, Randy said if Cena comes out of the Elimination Chamber, he's coming for him at WrestleMania. Yeah, so... but think of that wording. Comes out. I mean, yeah, you could easily do Say, oh, yeah, he's saying if Cena comes out because if it's someone else, he'll go after them. I don't know. To me, that, like, I've been hearing, I saw it on, I know, I know Wikipedia, but it's more accurate than people want to give it credit for. Saw it on there. It's been making the rounds all over the place on various news sites. Uh, saw it on 411, et cetera, et cetera. Having him say that, to me, just kind of put the icing on the cake. And personally, I like that idea. I like them being able to choose because that means every single Royal Rumble could potentially shake up the roster, even right. just a little. Yeah. Um, I will disagree with both of you because I didn't get my uh, opinion put in. I think that actually Raw won this week for a few reasons, of course. Was it at least um, close? Yeah, it was close. But I think that with the way that Raw was definitely built up, I mean, you you did hit a lot of main points up. Uh, Max with, you know, some of the matches were good. The storylines were, you know, more compelling. They actually told a lot more. Uh, we got to see Triple H actually come out and cut a very good promo. Uh, one okay. of the things that I actually did appreciate was uh, him making the comment of, you know, <laughs> you know, I didn't want to be that guy who comes out and destroys superstars, who ruins careers and blah, blah, blah. And I'm kind of like, he's kind of hinting at the fact that he admits that he did bury a couple people. So... Hey, that works for him. And like we said, Samoa Joe debuting was awesome. I thought Sami Zayn versus Jericho was great. And I'm thinking, please, for the love of God, put the U.S. title belt on Sami Zayn. Please put it on Sami. Please put it on Sami. Please, 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 please. Because then that would be two Canadians in a row. Uh, That would be amazing. Uh, The Braun Strowman angle was great. Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman, again, sparking gold and challenging Goldberg to one final battle at WrestleMania. And we already know next week Goldberg's going to say yes, but Goldberg has to get some time in because he's Goldberg, so why not? And the storyline between the two of them is awesome. And like we said for SmackDown, SmackDown was great tonight. Um, Women's division is looking good. The, some of the rivalries are still a little, have a little bit of, holes in them i think the whole thing with ziggler and Cruz is still still kind of wavy but it's still good it's still watchable at least <laughs> speaking of watchable we get nikki bella versus natalia at elimination chamber i am praying to god that they add some stipulation in there because it is not going to be a random <laughs> like you know Sorry, I, wanna... I, I fell asleep and what well, well, <laughs> i've been think. i've been thinking are they gonna do uh I have no idea how this would work since I'm guessing there's going to be at least two chamber matches. One for, oh, you know, I'm retarded. Duh. That's right. They split the pay per views. I split the pay per view roster up. I keep thinking the old way. Do you think they'd be willing to do a chamber match for the women? No. Not no. right now. No. They gave him hell in a cell. I think they're going to give him money in the bank before they give him Elimination Chamber. I agree. Oh, my God. Yes. Get, okay. Oh. Never mind. Fuck that. I, chamber is literally one my number one. Uh, specialty match, but fuck it. I want to see a women's money in the bank one. Agreed. Uh, if it's oh, a butterfly case, I will everything. I just I just had I had just had a spark of either insanity or a spark of genius. The whole tag team situation, what if they actually do a second uh tag team elimination chamber this year? Ooh. That was that would probably be like the best way to do it is to bring out you all know, the tag teams. And that's fair, especially with everybody coming out tonight um j- just in a massive clusterfuck. Um, you can make the argument you can have an elimination chamber match for the tag belts. How would it work? Because there's really no there's really no number one contender at this point. You've got well, let's see here. Let's count them. You've got one, two, three, four, five, and I'm sure they could work up a six one there somewhere. Uh, they could. They could probably. <laughs> I'm sure that the. Uh... The, you know, spirit squad, job squad, whatever you want to call them, is still looking for employment. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. or uh, who, who was the other team that they were, the, the head, head bashers or whatever they were, head smashers? Oh, the, uh, the, the headbangers. Headbangers, thank you. I'm sure they could probably bring them back and get them eliminated in about five seconds because, you know, vaude, vaude villains can only get buried so many times and well, still remain relevant. Poor, the who? 
Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> I, uh, I, stand, I stand by my statement that I said when they lost to the New Day that there is no God when it comes to those guys. They just, <laughs> it's sad. Um, yeah. But but also before we close off, I did actually get a chance to see, uh, like, I it doesn't say, like, who is, like, lead for creative for SmackDown, but they got lead writers, uh, Ryan Ward and Steven uh, Guerrero, spelled G E. Uh, G U E R R I E R I. I don't know how to spell it right. So, Stephen, I apologize if I say your name wrong. Uh, there's no way of like pronouncing it right. So, Ryan Warden, Stephen, those are the guys that lead uh, create lead uh, writers for SmackDown Live. So, well, they're doing a fantastic job. They really are. They are. Uh, oh fuck yeah! Yeah. So uh, that's gonna do it for the Sports Circle Podcast Smackdown Live Edition here on Spreaker.com, iTunes, Player.fm, PodDirectory.com, Sticker.com, TuneIn Radio, the Satchel Player for your Android and iPhones, Castbox.fm, IWNerd.com, and WrestleWorld.uk. A couple things coming up this week tomorrow. Uh, Nate, you've got change the f up with uh, Victory Bell. We got going on there. Uh, basically, what we're going to do is going to be continuing our theme of shoulda, woulda, couldas. But this time, we're going to be doing uh, best musical uh, numbers, mainly focusing on songs, as well as best animated features. So things that, you know, shoulda, woulda, coulda won. Uh, I will say, for one, my best animated features are going to probably spark a lot of debate. So looking mm-hmm. forward to seeing how that works tomorrow. Perfect. And then we've got Smart Money Podcast coming up on Thursday. I'm sure Chris and AJ are going to have a field day with Chris winning the belt. So be sure to listen to us. We are the elite, uh, the elite ringside network here on Spreaker.com oh, wait, and various wait, wait, wait. social media. Before, before, before we, before we forget, uh, Friday will be again, a WPW preview show because the main event, mm-hmm. Ho doggy. We get <laughs> Adam Grace defending the WPW championship against his tag team partner, Colin Brooks. Get our thoughts on that on Friday. It's going to be awesome. It, that's oh. going to be a fantastic match. Uh, and we, like we said, you need to support indie wrestling. You guys need to look up Wisconsin Pro Wrestling because that shit is fire. Uh, yeah, we're going to be covering that on Friday. Uh, a lot of stuff coming up this week. And then coming up uh, next week, uh, AJ, Max, and Nate will make their predictions for the Ringside Elite Network X title. Um basically the money in the bank title so for chris lockman aj jensen nate the effing great and max Beatty, i am spencer hart saying we will see you guys later on this week on the squared circle podcast venture still sucks <laughs> he's our roman reigns <laughs> <laughs>